Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. Noddy. It was a beautiful morning in Toyland. Noddy was looking forward to a busy day, driving passengers to and fro in his little car. Good morning, car. Milko. Milko. Morning, Mr. Milko. Isn't it a lovely day? It may be a lovely day for you, Noddy. It's a sad one for me. A sad day? I've lost my special watch. The one the dairy gave me for delivering milk every day for years and years. Oh, dear. Well, I shall look for your watch wherever I go. Oh, thank you. If anyone finds it, I shall give them a reward of sixpence. Then I shall look very hard. Would you like to ring my bell? That always cheers you up. <laughs> Thank you, Noddy. That's really cheered me up. <laughs> oh, where is he? Where is that taxi? Ah, taxi! Oh, good morning, Pink Cat. Where would you like to go? Take me to the station, driver. My name's Noddy. How much do you charge, driver? Every journey is six months. Will you put your tail inside the car, please? Oh, all Oof. right. But do start, or I shall miss my train. <laughs> oh, do please put your tail back. It's my tail, and I shall do what I like with it. I wish cats would look after their tails. I would if I had a tail. <laughs> All aboard! All aboard! <laughs> Just in time. Oh, no. My tail's gone. It must have fallen out of your car. I told you not to leave it hanging around. <gasps> and now I feel so giddy. <laughs> quick, quick! You'll miss your train. Uh, can I have my fare, please? Your fare? Your fare? I'm not paying you money. You owe me money. Sixpence for a new tail. And if you don't pay me sixpence, I shall report you to Mr. Plod, the policeman. Good morning. But it's not a good morning after all. Instead of earning money, I owe the pink cat sixpence for a new tail. Good morning, Noddy. Can you take me into town, please? I've got to open my market stall. Yes, I'll take you. Oh, but you'll have to pay me sixpence. Oh, yes, of course. Will you strap my bag onto the back of your car? I haven't got a strap, but we'll balance it and watch it very carefully. Good morning, Dinah Doll. <laughs> it's a beautiful car, Noddy, but it doesn't go very fast. It can go faster. Then please make it faster. I don't want to be late. Faster, please, faster. <laughs> <laughs> you see, my car does go quite fast. Oh, your bag! It's gone! Oh, Noddy, that really is very careless. My special blue purse is in that bag. I'll look for it. You'll have to. I can't pay you your sixpence, you know. In fact, if you don't find my bag, you'll have to pay me sixpence. Oh, dear. That's the second passenger who hasn't paid me anything. Now I owe Dinah Doll sixpence as well. I really must find that bag and Pink Cat's tail. I can't find the bag or the tail. 
I need a friend to help me. Hello, Noddy. Why are you crawling along the road? Have you forgotten how to walk? Oh, Big Ears, you're my friend. Yeah, I know that. I've had two passengers, but they haven't paid me any sixpences. And I've lost a bag and a fluffy tail, so I've got to pay them sixpences. What shall I do? Hmm. Let me think. Um, <laughs> when you've lost something and you can't find it, that usually means someone else has found it. So we must go back to town and look out for someone with a new bag or a fluffy tail. Oh, yes. Let's go now. Or have you thought of any more? Nope. That's a lot. Oh, hello, Dinodol. You're looking smart, Martha. Yeah, I know. It's my beautiful new pink scarf. Where did you get it? Oh, it, uh, it just came my way. You're lucky. You've got a new scarf, but I've lost my bag. How silly of you. <laughs> Bye! Is... Is that the one? Yes. That's Pink Cat's tail. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy wearing it as a scarf. Martha Monkey, that is not your scarf. Yes, it is. I, uh, I found it. That is Pink Cat's tail. <gasps> then she shouldn't leave it lying around. <laughs> if you don't give it back, she'll scratch you with her sharp claws. Uh, will she? And she'll hiss at you. Yes, that's just the sort of horrid thing she'd do. Anyway, it's much too warm to wear a scarf. Oh, thank you, Big Ears. Now to find Dinah Doll's bag. We must look very carefully around. Oh, yeah, Mr. Sparks. <laughs> I'm going on holiday. <laughs> with me beautiful new bag, yeah. Lots of people go on holiday with bags like this, so uh, I thought I would too. The only thing is, uh, uh, I don't know how to open the bag. Please, allow me. Oh! <laughs> I thought so. Dinah Doll's special blue purse. That clockwork mouse, he's always taking things that don't belong to him. Look, he's dropped something else. A watch. A watch? The milkman's lost his watch. What time does it say? Um, uh, <laughs> six o'clock. Why? That's the very time Mr. Milko starts his round. It must be his watch. I'll give it back to him first thing tomorrow. But now I can give Dinah Doll her bag and Pink Cat her tail. Oh, thank you, Big Ears. Milko. Milko. Good morning. No, it's not. But it is. Yesterday, I lost Dinah Doll's bag and Pink Cat's tail, but Big Ears and I found them again, and they were so pleased, they each gave me two sixpences. So today, we're going to have a huge tea party. Oh, good. And we found something else. Oh, my watch. Oh, Noddy, you are clever. <laughs> I shall give you two sixpences as well. Oh! We shall have an enormous tea party. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'd love to ring your little bell. All right, Mr. Milko. <laughs> Carry on. Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy. Means he's the happiest little fellow in the toy land. There's Big Ears and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure and he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. He's tired and sleepy and nodding his head. He's ready to curl himself up in bed and see what tomorrow brings. Naughty, 
Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. Naughty It had been a busy day in Toyland. Noddy was looking forward to his tea. If there's one thing I like, it's a boiled egg. If there are two things I like, they'd both be boiled eggs. I say... Hello, Noddy. It's me, Sly the Goblin. Don't walk straight in like that. Please use the knocker on the door. All right. That's far too loud. I already knew you were there. What do you want? I want you to take me to a party tonight in the dark wood. I don't know that I want to. I'll give you a bag of sixpences. Sixpences? A bag of sixpences? If you bring me home again, I'll give you two bags of sixpences. Two bags of sixpences? I shall be rich. Yes, I'll take you. It's a bit dark. I wish I hadn't come. I don't really want to be rich. Where's this party of yours? <laughs> don't make that silly noise. You can stop here. Where are the voices and the music? Where is the party? <laughs> Hello, Noddy. Yours the party. Gobbo, is it your party? That is right. <laughs> Get out of your car. When do we start dancing? No, we won't start dancing. In fact, this party is a trick. What sort of trick? We want to use your car for ourselves. You bad, wicked goblins. That's stealing. We're only borrowing your car. It's the only way we can have a ride. Goblins aren't allowed to have cars. I should think not, if this is how you behave. I like your hat, Noddy. <laughs> I think I'll borrow that as well. No, not my hat. Leave me my hat. <laughs> Move over, Sly. I want to drive. <laughs> oh, help. Help. I shouldn't have come to the dark wood. I'd really hate to be rich. If I wasn't so cross, I should cry. Is there nobody who can help me? I'm all alone and lost. Where am I? I know this house. It's Big Ear's house. Who's there? Big ears. Oh, big ears. It's Noddy. Please come and let me in. <sighs> what a terrible tale. Oh, there, Noddy. A nice mug of cocoa. Big ears, you're so kind. You've had a shock. You must sit under that blanket till you feel better. Thank you. Those goblins. I am shocked, Noddy. Shocked. Then you must sit under a blanket till you feel better. No, I'm too angry. <sighs> I shall go to see Mr. Plod, the policeman. He'll try to get back your car and your hat. I shall cycle into town right away and tell him what's happened. You must be careful. <laughs> there won't be anyone awake at this time of night. Oh, be quiet! Someone shut that dog up! Dear me, what is that awful noise? Oh, it's you, pumpy dog. Got you, my lad. I'll take you back home to Tessie Bear first thing tomorrow. <laughs> 
funny place to have a rest, Mr. Plod. I'm not having a rest. I'm arresting this dog. Ah, you should arrest the goblins. They've stolen Noddy's car and his hat. Where did this happen? In the dark wood. I'll help you find them. Thank you. And this dog had better come and help. No sign of the goblins, Mr. Plod. Nope. And that dog's run off again. Oh! oh. Do calm down, puppy dog. <laughs> he wants to play. Here, catch this stick. Perhaps we should have um, have a rest mm. and make a plan. Mm. No. What plan shall we make? What's that noise? Oh, is it that silly dog again? Who odd? I don't think there was a bell on that stick. That's Noddy's bell. On Noddy's hat. <laughs> what a splendid dog. <laughs> He's found Noddy's hat. So, that's our plan. <laughs> Bumpy Dog can show us where he found the hat. <laughs> they must have dropped the hat just here. Those goblins are asleep, yes, in the hollow tree. <laughs> now, we must all be very <clears throat> quiet. Who's out there? Uh, we've been found. Come on, Sly. Come back here, you two. Ooh. Oh, dear. Come on, big ears. We'll have to find them in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Oh, well done, Bumpy Dog. If you caught them, well, I helped as well, you know. It must be morning. My big ears isn't home yet, and I still haven't got my hat or my car. My car! Oh, my car! <laughs> Good morning, Noddy. <laughs> We found your car. Oh, Big Ears, thank you. Thank you. Oh, you should thank Bumpy Dog. <laughs> oh, Bumpy Dog. Oh, thank you. What a good dog you are. Well, I'll be taking these goblins off for a good talking to. Come along, Bumpy oh. Dog. <laughs> Ow. 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 Well, Noddy... <laughs> Would you like breakfast? <laughs> we could have uh, a boiled egg. Thank you, Big Ears. Perhaps we could have two boiled eggs. Noddy, Noddy. the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy. his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all. Big ears and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure and he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. He's tired and sleepy and nodding his head. He's ready to curl himself up in bed and see what tomorrow brings. For Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. Thank <laughs> you.
Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. Noddy. It was going to be another busy day for Noddy, driving his car round Toyland. He'd had a big breakfast to give him lots of strength. I really should like to eat this last piece of toast, but if I do, I might be so strong I'd pull the steering wheel off my car. And then who knows where we'd go? That sounds like Bert Monkey. I'll need lots of strength to deal with him. Come in. Don't break the door down. Hello, Bert Monkey. What do you want? Oh, good morning, Noddy. <laughs> I, I want your help. Well, you could help me by looking after your tail. Make it put the lid back on my teapot. <laughs> oh, sorry, Noddy. <laughs> I'll put it in my pocket. I went to see my grandma yesterday, and the trouble is, she gave me a pencil box. Why is that a trouble? Well, it hadn't got a rubber in it, and I really wanted one. Bert, it's your tail again. Here, I want that toast. Tail? Give it back. Hmm. I don't think I do want it now your tail's been messing with it. It was my tail that got me a rubber. It found a really big one at my grandma's and slipped it in my pocket. But, Noddy, it, it's a magic rubber. How's it magic? Well, it, it, it can rub out anything. It, it could rub a hole in your carpet. It could even rub out your teapot. Then don't bring it in here, thank you very much. You must give it back to your grandma. I oh, know, but I, I can't. I've already sold the pencil box to Sam Skittle. Oh, I'll give you anything if you'd help me get the rubber back. But, but not my hat. That rubber sounds dangerous. We must find Sam Skittle. Oh, yes, please. But but, but all, all the Skittles are going to the seaside today. We must catch them before their train leaves the station. Then we must go straight away. Uh, put my marmalade back, please. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> there they are. Stop it, Tail. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> it's lucky I only hit the Skittles. The Skittle family simply love being knocked over. Thanks, Noddy. That was good fun. Oh, uh, hello, Sam. Hello, Bert. Um, S Sam, I, I need that pencil box. Uh, I'll give you back the money you paid. Oh, that's all right. I've no time for drawing today. Um... Have, have you used the rubber? Oh, I've got lots of rubbers. I gave it to Clockwork Mouse. Oh, dear. Where will we find Clockwork Mouse? It's market day today. I expect he'll be there. Clockwork Mouse! Clockwork Mouse! Ah! At least that tail is some use. Clockwork Mouse, have you got the rubber Sam Skittle gave you? I might, or I might not. It's very important that Bert Monkey has it. Would you give it back, please? I might. That's not very helpful. If you give me a free ride in your car, I might give it to you. Oh, very well. Get in, then. Right. Please give us the rubber. No, I won't. Why not? I ain't got it. It kept falling through holes in me pockets. I, I expected it rubbed out those holes. 
Don't be silly. You'd need a magic rubber to do that. Bumpy Dog picked it up and ran off with it. Oh, no. We'll have to find him now. Come on, Bert. He's usually with Tessie Bert. <laughs> I say, Bert Monkey. <laughs> You've got a very silly tail. <laughs> Hello, Dino Doll. Have you seen Tessie Bear and Bumpy Dog? They were here, but they're gone now. Oh, dear. Do you know where they've gone? To the cafe, I think, for ice creams. Thank you. We must hurry. <laughs> Thank you, Tail. I do hope Master Tubby and Bumpy will look after your house. Oh, I'm sure they will. <laughs> oh, Tessie, where's Bumpy Dog? He's at Mrs. Tubby Bear's house. Oh, no! no. He's playing oh, with oh, Master oh. Tubby whilst I'm out shopping. They were having a fine time throwing a rubber about. That's Bert's rubber. We've been looking for it everywhere. Oh, then you must go and fetch it. Thank you, Mrs. Tubby Bear. Oh, uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> well, it's, it's very kind, but uh, I haven't time to stop for an ice cream. Bumpy Dog's still here. Oh, yes. He's still here. Ow! This door won't open. What's going on in there? Oh, let's look through the window. Oh, dear. Bumpy Dog must have knocked that chair over. It's blocking the front door. Oh, look. <laughs> Master Tubby's playing with the magic rubber. <laughs> Tubby, stop using that rubber. No, I won't. I like it. It's mine. Bumpy Dog gave it to me. But he didn't know it was magic. Ooh, magic? Is it? Stop it, Tubby. Bumpy Dog, try and grab that rubber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Away, Bumpy Dog, or I'll rub you out. Look, Bert, Master Tubby's rubbing out the chair that's blocking the front door. <laughs> Come on, we can get in now. <laughs> that's my rubber. You, you, you must give it to me. No, shan't. Oh, <laughs> my tail. Oh, good. That's one thing he can rub out. You, you shan't have my magic rubber. <laughs> At last. Now then, what shall I rub out first? Your nose or your mouth? No. No. Leave me alone. Oh, oh, oh thank you, Noddy. Oh, I'm so glad we found that rubber. You have a nice rest, Bert, while I tidy up. Although I don't know what Mrs. Tubby Bear will say when she sees all the holes in her house. I know. <laughs> I can ask my grandma for a comeback spell. I'll be very quick. <laughs> you must be very, very quick, Bert. I will be. You mustn't let that tail slow you down. Oh, I won't. Haven't you noticed? My tail's suddenly been very good indeed. <laughs> I'm pleased I had that extra piece of toast at breakfast. It made me strong enough to deal with all this excitement. <laughs> Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure and he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. Tired and sleepy and nodding his head He's ready to curl himself up in bed And see what tomorrow brings For Noddy Noddy Noddy
Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his jingling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. Naughty It was a rainy morning in Toyland. Not at all the sort of morning when Noddy and his car wanted to drive around the wet roads. Yes, it is a horrid day. Perhaps we should stay at home and keep warm. Noddy! Wait! <laughs> Hello, Big Ears. Have you come for a ride? <laughs> no, no, I haven't. I was worried you might catch a cold in the rain. So I've come to lend you my old umbrella. Your old umbrella? Won't you need it to keep your new umbrella dry? <laughs> no. You must take it. I'll come and collect it when the rain stops. It's going to be very awkward driving round with an umbrella. <laughs> oh, don't look so cross. <laughs> you should smile at me and say, Thank you, Big Ears. Thank you, Big Ears. Now, off you go and look for passengers. Yes, Big Ears. <laughs> <laughs> Noddy! Ah, uh, Noddy! <laughs> oh, I say, you look very silly with that umbrella. <laughs> it's keeping me dry. Now, I want you to take me to the station. I'm going to visit my auntie. Here, hold my tail on your knee. There. I've no room on mine because of this basket. Yeah, it's a very wet tail. Have it back, please. Don't do that. You're wetting the cakes I'm taking for my auntie. And I'd better hold that umbrella. Thank you. <laughs> this is cosy. <laughs> now, come back to the station at five o'clock to take me home again. And don't you dare be late. Don't be so bossy. You should smile at me and say, thank you, Noddy. <laughs> that would be silly. I've got a train to catch. I hate rainy days. They make everyone grumpy. Oh, hello, Noddy. I'm so pleased to see you. Oh, Mrs. Tubby Bear. Thank you. Isn't it a lovely day? Oh, I'm afraid it isn't. It's raining. But it would be lovely if you would take Master Tubby and me home in your car. Of course I will. And you can keep dry under Big Ear's lovely old umbrella. <laughs> oh, dear. This umbrella is being very difficult. You silly umbrella. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> Get away! Come back, little box! Stop! Come back! At last, that rain seems to be stopping. Now then, what's all this noise? Oh, my word! Stop! Oh, you have stopped. <coughs> now then, Noddy, what do you know about this escaping letterbox? It wasn't my fault. No, it really wasn't Noddy's fault. It was Big Ear's old umbrella's fault. I couldn't see, and that letterbox bumped into my car. Aha! Uh -huh. That sounds like dangerous driving to me. No. <laughs> For one whole day, Noddy. You must not drive that car of yours. No, I need my car. Everybody wants rides today. Off you go. I shall keep your car in the police station. That's not fair. It's not. It's not fair. You can collect your car tomorrow. <laughs> Where is it going? That's not the way to my police station. Oh, I wonder if Noddy's come home with my umbrella. 
Ah, good. Here he is now. Mrs. Tubby Bear? Where's Noddy? Oh, his car's come home to look for him, but I'm afraid he's run away. Oh, dear me. You must tell me what's happened. I knew I hated rainy days. It wasn't my fault. I didn't mean to knock the letterbox down. It was all that rain and Big Ear's silly old umbrella. All aboard! All aboard! Yes, it's all your fault, Umbrella. It's all your fault I couldn't see where I was go- <coughs> Ow! See? You've done it again. What's the matter, Noddy? Oh, hello, Mr. Train Driver. It was raining and I couldn't see where I was and the letterbox knocked Mr. Plod over, but it wasn't my fault and now I can't drive my car for a whole day. Don't worry. You can help us at the station. We need an extra porter today. Ooh, can I be a porter? Thank you. All aboard! All aboard! <coughs> oh, oh. Uh, Mr. Sparks, you haven't seen Noddy, have you? I'm... I'm very worried about him. I heard he was missing. He's not here to drive people to the station, so so I've got to take them instead. Well, please look out for him and tell him to come straight home. Mrs. Tubby Bear's baked a special apple pie to cheer him up. Toy Town! Toy Town! Hello, Naughty. <laughs> How are you getting on? Oh, thank you, Mr. Train Driver. I've had a wonderful time. I've carried everybody's bags, and they've all given me lots of money. <laughs> You're a very good porter. <laughs> but this is the last train of the day. Then I must go and see who else I can help. Ah, there you are, Noddy. It's after five o'clock. I've been waiting for nearly a minute. I'm sorry, Martha Monkey. I can't take you home. I'm not allowed to drive my car today. Oh, really, Noddy? What use is a taxi driver who can't drive? I'm a porter now. I can carry your basket. Oh, all right then. Pick it up. Uh, where is it? Where's my basket? It can't be far away. It's full of special biscuits my auntie gave me. We must look all around. No, it's not here. It's gone. My basket's disappeared. This umbrella's getting a bit heavy. Look, there it is, my basket. Noddy, there you are. Everybody's been so worried about you. Quick, jump into my car. Mrs. Tubby Bear has baked you a special apple pie. Oh, goody. We must get back to your house right away. Thank you, Mr. Sparks. You're very kind. Where can Noddy be? I do hope someone will have seen him at the station. Oh, he must be so miserable. Thank you, Mrs. Tubby. That was a lovely pie. Now, may I have one of your special biscuits, please, Martha Monkey? Oh, no. Not after all that apple pie. You'll be sick. Big ears. Uh, oh, Noddy. <laughs> at last. <laughs> I, I've been looking everywhere for you. I, I'm sorry you've been so worried. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> I'll soon feel better if I can have a piece of Mrs. Tubby Bear's apple pie. <laughs> oh, dear. We've eaten it all up. Still, at least you can have your old umbrella back. We've had a lovely day together. <laughs> Naughty. Naughty. The little man with the red and yellow car Noddy, Noddy. His tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland There's Big Ears and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends It's sixpence an adventure and he'll take you home again And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye Tired and sleepy and nodding his head He's ready to curl himself up in bed And see what tomorrow brings For Noddy 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 Yeah.
the car Naughty His drinking well means he's the happiest of following your toy land There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends It's sixpence an adventure then he'll take you home again Naughty 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 It had been a messy day in Toyland. Noddy and his car were very tired and dirty from helping Farmer Straw in his fields. Oh, uh, oh dear, I'm so tired and hungry. But I must wash you before the mud sets all hard. <coughs> a nice bath never hurt anyone. Hello, Noddy. Oh, Martha Monkey. Please go away. I'm very busy. Oh, what a very dirty car. What a very rude thing to say. Fancy getting into such a mess. It's been working hard. Then you must give its face a good scrub. And mind you wash behind its ears. <laughs> Here, when are you going to clean its teeth and brush its hair? Don't forget to trim its nails. <laughs> that silly monkey. She makes me feel tireder than ever. Oh. Oh. oh, Noddy, isn't your car dirty? May I wash it? No, thank you, Master Tubby. You'll probably do something naughty. Please, Noddy, please let me wash your car. I promise to be good. All right, wash the car then, but be very careful. If you do it really well, I'll take you for a ride. Oh, Noddy, thank you. Oh. Oh, really? Look what you... <sighs> Yoo-hoo! Noddy! I've baked you one of my special ginger cakes. Ooh. Thank you so much. I'm terribly hungry. <sighs> and you look so tired. Come inside and have some tea while Master Tubby cleans your car. He's trying very hard to be a good and helpful bear. Ah, good morning, little car. You do look clean and smart. Master Tubby really did give you a very good wash. First of all, we must go to the garage and put some petrol in your tank. It must be quite empty after all the hard work we did yesterday. <coughs> Dear, what's the matter? What's wrong? You keep jerking and jumping. What's happened? <coughs> what is that funny noise? <coughs> it's no good. I shall have to keep you at home till you're better. Ah, there you are, Noddy. Yeah, I thought you were coming to take me shopping. Oh, Big Ears, something dreadful has happened to my car. Listen. <coughs> there, it keeps doing that. It won't stop. <coughs> that car has got hiccups. Hiccups? Yes, just like you get hiccups if you drink something fizzy too quickly. <laughs> but cars don't drink. They don't even eat. Mm. Have you put something funny in the petrol tank? No, I haven't. But that naughty tubby bear washed my car. Perhaps he may have done. Mm. Come along. Let's look in your garage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Noddy, why have you got so many empty ginger beer bottles? I was saving them for your birthday. <laughs> That's very kind of you, Noddy. Though I don't know what I should do with empty <coughs> ginger beer bottles. No, they were full. I was going to give you ginger beer for your birthday. Then, um, what's happened to the ginger beer? Master Tubby Bear, he must have drunk it all. I think he put it into your car's petrol tank. That's why it's got hiccups. Surely he didn't fill my car with ginger beer. Oh, 
I only gave the car a drink. <laughs> its tank was almost empty. It was thirsty. It wanted a drink. What's going on? I'm afraid that young scamp of yours has poured ginger beer into Noddy's car. I've never heard of such a thing. How very naughty you are. You must stay in your room all day. <laughs> and we must take the car to Mr. Spark's garage to be mended. Don't just say, can you please mend my car? It'll have to stay here while I clean it out. But I shan't earn anything, and then I won't be able to pay you. Oh, don't worry, Noddy. I can lend you my bicycle. <laughs> then you'll be able to deliver all kinds of things. Oh, thank you, Big Ears. And I've got a job for you. Oh, Mr Sparks, have you? You can go to the station and collect a pair of new tyres I'm waiting for. You're both so kind. I could hug you. It only goes ring, ring. I do miss my car going bob, bob. This is very hard work. These tyres are so heavy. Hello, Noddy. Oh, mother monkey. What's happened to your car? Is it still sick? Have you had to put it to bed with a hot water bottle? <laughs> I'm working very hard. Carrying these tyres for Mr. Sparks, and I'm not talking to you. Oh, yes, you are. I just heard you. <laughs> uh, Noddy, I'm not even listening to you. But Noddy! Oh, good. I suddenly feel much stronger. What a silly, nodding person he is. I'll take this tyre to Mr. Sparks myself. Naughty tire, come back! <laughs> now then, what's going on here? I don't know what happened, Mr. Sparks. There were two tyres when I left the station, and now there's only one. I I'm sorry. You must have lost it, Noddy. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll have to pay for it. But I still haven't earned any money. Oh, what shall I do? Noddy! Noddy! I've got your tyre! Have you? Where is it? It's chasing me! Oh, Martha, that was clever of you. Yes, I know it was. Well done, both of you. <laughs> you shall each have sixpence for bringing my tyres. Oh, thank you, Mr Sparks. Goody! Sixpence! Now your car's mended, Noddy. Thank you, Mr Sparks. And thank you for helping, Martha. You can have a ride in my car if you like. Oh, all right, if you want me to. And if you're sure it's working properly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you're well again, little car. I quite like your car after all. <laughs> Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in the Biggie's and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence and adventure and he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. He's tired and sleepy and nodding his head. He's ready to curl himself up in bed and see what tomorrow brings. For Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red 
white and yellow car Noddy His twinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends It's sixpence an adventure then he'll take you home again Noddy 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 The wind was blowing very hard in Toyland. Noddy's washing just did not want to be pegged onto the line. Do stop playing about! If you won't hang on the line, you'll never get dry. Oh! What shall I do with this peg? Oh, I know. Hello, Noddy. Tessie Bear, how lovely to see you. What a lot of eggs you have. I have to take them to the farm gate to leave them on Mr. Straw's milk churn. Then milkman can pick them up and sell them. I was hoping you would take me there in your car. Of course I will. As soon as I've hung up my washing. <laughs> Why are you wearing a peg on your nose? Am I? Oh, yes. You have to keep pegs somewhere until you're ready to use them, you know. Oh, what's the matter? I've just had a wonderful idea. It's such a lovely windy day. We could take a picnic and fly my red kite in Mr. Straw's field. There. Now I can help you fly your kite. Hurry, Tessie. The kite's longing to fly. It'll pull so hard we'll both have to hold the string. I'm ready. Here it goes. Kite, fly! High up in the sky! Fly, kite, fly! Oh, Noddy, this is such fun! Hold tight, Tessie! It's going up in the clouds! Look out, kite! You'll bump your head! How will we have our picnic holding on to this string? We'll tie it to something, and then the kite won't be able to fly away. Oh, Noddy, you are clever. Hmm. What shall we tie the string to? The milk churn's heavy. We could tie the string to its handle. Come on! There. Now we can have our picnic. Very windy. Come on, let's fly the kite again. <gasps> Tessie, what's the matter? Look! Stop! Stop! Stop, turn! Stop! Come back at once! <gasps> oh, Noddy! Come down here! How dare you fly away with Tessie's eggs? Come on, Noddy. Let's get into your car and follow the churn. Oh, we can easily see it flying through the air. Ooh. 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 What fine goods you sell, Dinah doll. <laughs> oh, I just felt a spot of rain. It's not raining over here. Oh, it's raining here. <laughs> it's not raining here. I don't believe it's raining at all. It must be raining. Look, <laughs> there's a puddle. But it's a white puddle. That looks like milk to me. It can't be milk. It tastes like milk. So it must be raining milk. <laughs> oh, dear me. Someone's dropped an egg on my head. Out of the sky? There must be a bird up there, laying eggs. Birds don't lay eggs when they're flying. They lay them in nests. <laughs> oh, I say. Somebody's laid an egg on your head, Jumbo. Oh! I'm sorry about that, Mr. Beetle. Now then, what's going on here? 
I'm afraid I have to report, Mr. Plod, that it's raining eggs and milk. Raining eggs and milk? <laughs> really, Mr. Tubby? <laughs> what nonsense. <laughs> How amusing. <laughs> eggs and milk. <laughs> Whatever next. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, dear me. What happened? You fell down, Mr. Plod. You slipped on a broken egg. It must have fallen out of the sky, <laughs> like all the others. Yes. <sighs> well, this is very serious. Nobody must move until I decide what to do. Oh, uh, Mr. Plod. Yes, yes, what is it? I'm busy deciding things. I have to report a missing milk churn. It's disappeared from the farm gate. Oh, oh dear. dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's the only one Mr. Straw's got, so he's offering a reward of one pound for anyone that finds it. A reward? A whole pound? Has anyone seen the milk farm? It's no good, Tessie. We've lost them. That milk churn has flown off with your eggs. Ooh. Oh, well done, Noddy. You found my basket. And there's the milk churn. We must take it straight back to Mr. Straw. Oh, the milk's gone. Oh, dear. He'll be so angry with us. We must do this properly, Tessie. That churn is lost property, so we must take it to Mr. Plod first. Then he can give it back to Mr. Straw. And Mr. Straw can tell Mr. Plod how angry he is. Then Mr. Plod can tell me. Oh, but I shan't tell you. You're so brave and kind, Noddy. Thank you. <coughs> I am to make an announcement about the reward of one pound for information. <laughs> Noddy, he's got Mr. Straw's milk churn. Oh, <laughs> my word. Where did you find that milk churn, Noddy? It fell out of the sky. There's a reward of a pound for finding it. A whole pound? But what was a milk churn doing in the sky? It was flying. Tessie and I were flying my red kite in Mr. Straw's field, and when we had our picnic, we tied the kite string to his milk churn, and the kite pulled so hard on its string that it lifted the churn up into the air with my basket of eggs on top. So the milk churn and the eggs must have flown over the market square. And that must be why we had the rain of milk and eggs. <laughs> oh, thank you, Noddy. <clears throat> uh, there's a reward for that information. An egg fell on Mr. Wobbly Man. <laughs> and another egg fell on Jumbo. <laughs> <laughs> And Mr. Plod slipped up on another egg. <laughs> yes, 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 it wasn't all that funny. Someone could have been hurt. And what are you giggling at? I'm giggling because Tessie and I are going to get two rewards. I don't know about that, young man. I want you to take that milk churn back to Mr. Straw and pay him for all the milk he's lost. Yes, all right, I will. But we'll still have one reward. And as soon as you give it to me, I shall go to the cafe and buy Tessie an ice cream. Ooh. And you can come too, Mr. Plod. I think people... How kind. <clears throat> I'll get your reward right away. <laughs> Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Means he's the happiest of the following Toyland. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure and he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. He's tired and sleepy and nodding his head. He's ready to curl himself up in bed and see what tomorrow brings. Naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> <laughs>
Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in the toy land. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. Noddy. It was a quiet day in Toyland. Noddy hadn't done very much at all, so he was looking for something exciting to do next. Oh no! Mr Plod, can't we drive down the street? In a moment. I'm just about to move these cones. I put them there so I could direct all the caravans from Bink's Circus around the town. A circus? That is exciting. I wish I could see the caravans. Can I follow them? No, oh, if you must. Oh. No sign of the caravans. Who's that funny looking person? Ow! Oh, oh, ow! What's the matter? I fell out of a circus caravan. I've hurt my leg. Ow! What are you? Oh, I'm a monkey. Half a monkey and half a bunny. Can't you see my rabbit ears? Well, you do look very peculiar. Would you like to get into my car? I could drive after the circus and help you back into your caravan. No, no. I don't want to go back to the circus. Please. Oh, uh, they were horrid to me. They made me do all the heavy work, but they never gave me enough food. Nobody wants me there. Poor Bunky. You can stay at my house until your leg's better. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful car. Does it go very fast? It goes very fast indeed. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Slow down! Sorry, Mr. Plod. And who in the world has he got with him? Is it... Oh, bother. <sighs> I do like your house, Noddy. I'll sleep in this cosy chair. And when my leg's better, I'll clean your house from top to bottom. I'll cook your dinner, I'll wash and polish your car, I'll weed your garden, I'll do your shopping, I'll... Good gracious! You needn't do all that. Oh, please. All right, then, if you really want to. Yes. I want to repay your kindness. Yes, there's nothing like a good polish to make a car feel like singing. I've never seen my car gleam like that, Bunky. Good morning, Noddy. Can you take me into town, please? Of course I can. Tessie, this is my new friend Bunky from the circus. He's half a monkey and half a rabbit. Oh, how exciting. Noddy's been so kind to me. I really want to help him. And if you're his friend, I want to help you too. Whenever you want anything at all, just tell me and I'll try and do it for you. Well, I often wish we had a lamp post outside our house. Every night, my Uncle Bear bumps into the tree by our front gate. And when he goes out, it wakes us all up. <laughs> a lamp post? Uh -huh. No, I'm um, just um, practising opening my mouth to put boiled egg inside it. <laughs> I'd say, come in, Mr Plod, but you already are in. Noddy, do you know anything about four missing lampposts? Lampposts? No, 
know. One went from outside Miss Fluffy Cat's gate, and one from outside my gate, and we both heard the noise of a car last night. Well, it wasn't my car. I didn't take it out. Please go away, Mr Plod. My egg's going cold. Yeah, go away. Noddy, there are four lampposts in our front garden. Wherever did the... Oh, oh, hello, Mr Plod. So, that's where those lampposts are gone. I shall have a word with your Uncle Bear. Noddy, you'll hear from me again. Horrid fellow. I should have knocked his helmet off. Bunky, those lampposts. Surely you didn't... Uh, I'm a stash. I've got to weed your garden. He must have done it. Oh, dear. Bunky, you must tell the truth. Woof, woof. Look out, Noddy. Here comes Bumpy Dog. I'm afraid he'll be terribly pleased to see you. Oh, do stop it, Bumpy Dog. Go away! How dare you attack my friend! Bunky! You stupid dog! You've ruined my garden! And you're as bad, Bunky! Oh, I'm sorry. I only wanted to protect you. You've spoiled all Noddy's flowers and broken his seat. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'll put your garden right again. I'm sorry. It was so kind of you to buy this flower for my garden, Tessie. Naughty. Look. It's that Bunky again. Where is he? All those flowers. And a new seat. That's not a seat. That's a park bench. Bunky. Did you steal that bench from the park? And all the flowers? I, I didn't steal them. I asked the park keeper who they belonged to, and he said they belonged to everybody. Well, that means they're yours, so I brought them home for you. Oh, you are silly. And such a nuisance. you better come to the police station and own up about the lampposts and park bench. No, no, I, I, I don't want to. Get in the car. Aha! The very creature! Mr Plod, Bunky has come to say he's very sorry about taking the lamppost and the park bench. Bunky, indeed. There is no such thing. <gasps> Good gracious! Soon to the act. Yes, he's a monkey, all right. I've just had this letter from the circus warning me about him. They'd had enough of his tricky, mischievous ways, so they threw him out of their caravan. You told me you'd fallen out. Bunky? I'm sorry, Noddy. I only wanted to be your friend. <laughs> oh, my car! He's taken my car! I really miss my car. Will I ever see my car again? <laughs> Noddy, look! My car! Bunky's brought it back! <laughs> Perhaps he was my friend after all. He only borrowed your car to get away because he was frightened of Mr. Plod. I suppose he's gone now. He really was a monkey, but I couldn't help liking him. I liked him too. He did always try to be kind, you know. I wonder if he's got a new disguise. <laughs> Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, his thinking bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure and he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. Tired and sleepy and nodding his head He's ready to curl himself up in bed And see what tomorrow brings For Noddy Noddy Noddy
Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. It was a warm and sunny day in Toyland. It was so warm and sunny, Noddy felt sure it was a very lucky day. Good morning, son. Good morning, car. You look a bit odd. Oh, dear. Your tyre's flat. I shall have to pump it up. Anybody would think this was my unlucky day. Now then, young Noddy. Oh, ow, Mr Plod. Ow, that wasn't very lucky. I've come to ask you where you was in the middle of last night, Noddy. I was in bed, of course. Why? Because somebody climbed into Sally Skittle's house last night and took <clears throat> some jam tarts, a meat pie and a chocolate cake. Mr. Plod, you surely don't think I would do such a shocking thing? Well, Sally Skittle thinks you took <clears throat> her tarts and her pie and her cake. Have you anything to say? It's horrid of her to think that. I'll never, never take her out in my car again. Never. Never, 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 never. All right, that, that's enough never. Never, 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 never. Stop it, I'm running out of pencil. <clears throat> Now, she heard the jingling of a little bell as the thief ran away. And you're the only one in Toyland who jingles when he walks, cos you've got a bell on your hat. I didn't steal from Sally Skittles' larder. I didn't. I didn't. Didn't, 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 didn't. That's enough didn't. Oh, look what you've made me do. Right. I'll say no more for now, Noddy. But if you're not telling the truth, well, look out. Oh, no. It really isn't my lucky day. Oh, I'm afraid it isn't. It really was Noddy's fault. Good morning. Good morning, Jumbo. Would you like a ride in my car? Uh, oh. oh, dear. Why does everyone run away from me? Ooh. Hello, Mr. Wobbly Man. Would you like a ride? Oh, Why won't anyone speak to me? Morning, Mr. Sparks. Oh, dear. Perhaps Sally Skittle has told them I stole from her last night. Noddy? At least Mr. Plod is still speaking to me. But I wish he wasn't. Now then, Noddy. Are you sure you were in bed all last night? Yes, I am. <laughs> Except when my feet slid out from the blankets and I got out to put them back. <clears throat> well, uh, Mr. Wobbly Man just told me that somebody with a jingling bell got into his house as well last night and took a box of ginger <gasps> biscuits. It wasn't me. I didn't go into anyone's house. I only hope you're telling the truth. Carry on. Of course I'm telling the truth. Oh, I forgot I hadn't sharpened my pencil. Nobody loves me. They all think I'm bad, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Noddy. Oh, I'm so lonely. No, you're not. I'm here. Tessie. I didn't hear you come in. Are you still talking to me? Of course I am. But people are saying such horrid things. You're not a thief. But they all think it was me because the thief had a jingling bell like mine. I know. But I think the thief was pretending to be you. And I've got a plan to prove it. Come on. Look, Dinah Doll sells bells on her stall. But, well, the thief must have bought a bell, mustn't he? 
So all we have to do is ask Dinah Doll who's bought a bell like yours. Oh, Tessie, how clever you are. I wish Dinah Doll sold brains so I could have one like yours. Hurry up. Hello, Dinah Doll. Hello, Noddy. I see you've still got one friend. Yes, he has. And we both want to know whether you were sold a bell lately that made a jingly noise like Noddy's. Like this. Oh, well, yes, I have. Yesterday, I sold one to Clockwork Mouse. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, hello. Yeah, what do you want, then? Why aren't you wearing the bell you bought from Dinah Doll? Oh, well, I'm not wearing it because I didn't buy it for myself. I bought it for someone else, yeah. Who? Don't shout. <laughs> oh, look, you've given me hiccups. Who did you buy the bell for? For... Uh, Gobbo, the... Uh, goblin. Gobbo? Yeah. He gave me a sixpence for buying it. And I spent it all on this ice cream. And now I feel sick. You can finish it. Perhaps it is a little bit of a lucky day after all. If Gobbo is the thief, he might break into someone else's house tonight. And we might catch him. How should we know where to look? We can listen for his bell. You'll have to tie your bell down so that it won't ring and make us think you're Gobbo. That's right. Or we might catch me. Stay close to me, Noddy. Oh, yes, I will. Shh. Listen. Oh, it's just like my bell. It's coming from Miss Pink Cat's house. Look, there's a window open. We must hide under the window and see if Gobbo jumps out. <laughs> there's something moving up there. Oh, 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 oh. Noddy, are you all right? Yes, and it is Gobbo. Oh. He's got his hat. Apples. He's been stealing apples and buns. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ow! Please be careful, Tessie. I'm sorry, Noddy. We need help. Look, someone's coming. Someone on a bike. Help! Please help! <laughs> what on earth is going on? Big ears. Oh, I'm so pleased you're back. It's Gobbo. He's stolen some apples and buns from Miss Pink Cat. Oh, he's getting away. Come back. Don't worry. I'll make sure we can see him. Ow. 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 Woohoo. Right, you bad goblin. We shall take you to see Mr. Plod. Oh, thank you, Big Ears. Now nobody will think I'm a thief. So perhaps tomorrow will be my lucky day. It's Noddy. Oh, it's Noddy. Hello, Noddy. dear Noddy. How clever of you to catch the thief. Oh, we're so glad it wasn't you. <laughs> we never really thought it was. Do you think I could possibly have a ride? <laughs> I'm sorry. None of you can have rides with Noddy today. It's such a lucky day. We're going for a picnic. But perhaps tomorrow will be your lucky day. Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all. And Toby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, and he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. He's tired and sleepy, and nodding his head, he's ready to curl himself up in bed and see what tomorrow brings. For Noddy, Noddy, Noddy.
Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in the toy land. There's Biggie's and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. It was a noisy morning in Toyland. Tessie Bear had gone to stay with her aunt, so Noddy was looking after her friend Bumpy Dog. I shan't be able to have any breakfast today until Mr Milko gets here. You've had the last of my milk, Bumpy Dog. Stop it! Get down! Down! Milko! Milko! Oh, there he is now! Hello, Bump. Oh, oh, oh! 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 Well caught, Noddy. I'm sorry, Mr. Milko. Bumpy Dog can be very naughty. I'm sorry too, Noddy. I'm sorry I'm late. Everything's going wrong today. What's the matter? Well, I had a letter from my brother. He's not been well, so I must go and see him. But I can't take a day off me milk round. I'll do your milk round for you tomorrow, Mr Milko. Oh, would you, Noddy? Oh, yes. I should love to be a milkman. <coughs> and Bumpy would like to be a milkman's dog. Look. <coughs> Bumpy dog! Oh, no! I shan't even be able to deliver milk today. I'll help you. We'll mend your cart later, but first we can deliver your milk in my car. And you can teach me what to do, so that I can do your round and you can go and see your brother. <coughs> oh, where is that milkman? He's very late. <coughs> Here's your milk, Miss Pink Cat. I'm sorry I'm late. I should think you are sorry. I'm off to have my whiskers curled this morning. Oh, no! Keep that horrible dog away from me. He's only being friendly. Oh, make him put my tail down. Bumpy, drop that! I'm sorry, he thinks it's a bone. Drop it! Oh, really? I shan't pay you your two pennies, milkman. Not with that dog around. Don't worry, Mr. Milko. I'll collect four pennies from her tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I wish you sold milk, Dinah doll. I need something to drink with my bananas. Good morning, Bird Monkey. Here's your milk. Oh, that's good. I was beginning to think the milkman wasn't going to bring me any today. I'm really very sorry. <laughs> Stop it, Bumpy. <laughs> Bert Monkey's not stealing that bottle. He's going to pay for it. No, I'm not. It's smashed. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Please don't worry, Mr Milko. I'll pay for that bottle. Take another one, Bert. I'll give you your penny tomorrow when that dog's not around. Bye. Do you really think you can do my milk round, Noddy? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, please. Oh. You mustn't let Bumpy Dog come with you. I won't, I won't, I promise. All right. But as soon as we've delivered the rest of this milk, we really must mend my cart or I'll never be able to deliver milk again. <laughs> ah, ah. There. Thank you, Mr Tubby Bear. Ah, my word, that cart is quite a weight. Now we have to tighten up the wheel. Where's my spanner? You put it down just behind you. But now it's gone. We must have knocked it under the cart. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> Bumpy dog. dog. That's my spanner. Bumpy, bring that spanner back. Come back. Oh, goodness. He's run off into my garden. We'll never get this wheel mended now. 
And I shall be much too late to catch my train. Don't worry, Mr. Milko. I'll take you to the station. And I'll find that spanner. <sighs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, Mr. Tubby, did you find the spanner? Yes, indeed, Noddy. Bumpy Dog was trying to bury it in my back garden. Oh, Bumpy. Oh, 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 oh. However, I rescued the spanner, and while he was away, I finished mending the wheel. Thank you, Mr. Tubby. Tomorrow morning, you'll be able to start your milk round on time. <coughs> I'll look after Bumpy Dog, Noddy. I won't let him out of the house until you've finished your round. Oh, thank you. Bumpy, you must be a good dog. <laughs> What a lot of money I've collected from Mr. Milko. I knew I should be a good milkman. Where is the milkman? He's away, so I'm delivering the milk instead. You owe me two pence for today and two pence for yesterday. That's four pence, please. I know that. Here you are. You'll have to collect my empty bottles from the step. Have you got that horrible dog with you? No, I haven't. You're not even late. So I have nothing to complain about at all. <laughs> oh, no! What are you doing here? Oh, oh Noddy, I do apologize. But me dog got away. Master Tubby let him out. Leave those bottles alone! <laughs> Oh, good heavens, what's happening? Good morning, Mr. Sparks. Your milk will soon be here. Oh, good heavens, what is happening? Stop! Bumpy dog, stop! Dog, whatever are you doing? <laughs> oh, Dinosaur! Mr. Milko will be so upset. Bumpy Dog is ruining my milk round. Here, Bumpy. I've got a nice bone for you. Oh, Dinah, thank you. Come on, Bumpy. I'll take you home until Noddy's delivered all the milk. You're very kind, Dinah. But now I must find Miss Pink Cat's empty bottles. Oh, there you are. Two pints, please. Oh, help! Who's that? Ah, Noddy. I heard you was delivering the milk today. I caught these two bad goblins stealing cakes last night, so I shall need two extra pints of milk. Here are two extra pennies for you. Thank you, Mr. Plod. <laughs> Mr. Milko will be pleased. Two extra pennies. He'll think I'm a very good milkman after all. <laughs> Hello, Tessie Bear. Hello, Mr. Milko. Get in. I've come to drive you both home. Hello, Noddy. How are you? How's Bumpy Dog? He's very well. <gasps> but I'm so glad you've come to take him home. How did you get on with my milk round, Noddy? Did you deliver all the milk on time? Yes, I did. And look, I made two extra pennies for you. Oh. You really are a very good milkman. Well done, Noddy. Oh, I'm so pleased. I shall have to ring your little bell. <laughs> Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in the Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends It's sixpence an adventure and he'll take you home again And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye He's tired and sleepy and nodding his head He's ready to curl himself up in bed and see what tomorrow brings For Noddy, Noddy, Noddy
Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. It was a very, very bright day in Toyland, and everyone was busy spring cleaning. There you are, shining like new. <coughs> My word, Noddy, what a gleaming car. I can't wait to drive about in it. Would you drive to town for me, please, and fetch some tins of paint and two big brushes? Mr. Tubby wants to paint the house, but we've only got a bit of old red paint left. <laughs> I've made a list. Thank you, Mrs. Tubby. I hope my car won't dazzle your eyes. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye-bye, <laughs> Noddy. Are you all right up there, Mr. Plod? Oh, yes, thank you. But uh, keep holding onto that ladder, please. Hey, big Ooh. ears. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, it's you, Noddy. You made me jump. Can you see my house from the top of your ladder, Mr. Plod? Oh, yes. I can see Master Tubby Bear going up to your front door. Is he taking back my stool? Well, he's carrying something. And Tessie Bear's going up your path. I'd better go home and see what's happening. Goodbye, Big Ears. <laughs> Don't go so fast, Noddy. Was a lovely cake, Tessie. <laughs> Tessie, what's the matter? Oh, Noddy! Noddy, just look at you. What are you laughing at? <laughs> look at the back of your trousers. I can't see my back. Noddy, you must come quickly. What? Are you doing? Trying to look at my back. <laughs> Not dear. <laughs> you really must look in the mirror. <laughs> oh no! Who's painted my trousers red? It must have come off your red stool, Noddy. Oh yes, that horrid Master Tubby Bear. He's repainted my stool and I sat down on the paint. I shall paint his nose red and I'll paint his ears green and... Noddy, no. There isn't time for all this painting. Mr. Plod needs your help. Mr. Plod? Why? He was stretching too far and he fell off his ladder from top to bottom. Bump! <gasps> oh, dear. Is he badly hurt? Well, not badly. Although, he has dented his helmet. Poor Mr. Plod. He's going to stay at my house so I can look after him until he's better. We need you to drive him there in your car, Noddy. Yes, of course. But, um... <laughs> do change your trousers first. <laughs> How long will you have to stay in bed, Mr. Plod? Well, the doctor says I must rest for three days. But who will look after Toy Town and make sure nobody does anything bad? Yes, who will be the policeman now? I shall. I've given Bigger his own special helmet and he can help me whenever I need. So just to behave yourselves, Tessie and Noddy. <laughs> Noddy can help you, Big Ears. It's very hard work directing traffic and watching out for thieves. Oh, thank you, Mr. Plod. <sighs> <sighs> There's not much traffic to correct this morning. No, but we can practice with pedestrians. Halt, please. Let Jumbo pass. Thank you. Carry on. Really, Noddy, how very silly you are. Policemen don't direct pedestrians. And you haven't even got a helmet. Go along, please. Don't be so rude. Big Ears, I, I wish I'd got a helmet. Aha! Here comes some traffic. Right, Sally Skin. I've stopped the traffic. You can cross.
cross the road now. But we don't want to cross the road. Hurry along, please. The milkman has to go about his business. Oh, all right. Come along, children. Big ears. Big ears. You have to wait, Mr. Sparks. There are children crossing. But I want to report a burglary. Someone's stolen two bicycles from me garage. <gasps> Good gracious. Oh, dear, I... I'm afraid I'm terribly busy directing all this traffic. I'm being a policeman as well, Mr. Sparks. I'll come and investigate. Oh, thank you, Noddy. Well, all right. But you must be careful, Noddy. Honk, honk. Oh, uh, <coughs> sorry, Milkman. <coughs> Carry on. Hmm. All the doors were locked, so the robbers must have passed the bicycles up through the skylight climbed over the roof and then down to the ground. I'll catch them for you. Now, let me see. Oh, look, it was raining last night. There are muddy tire tracks on the ground. Well done, Noddy. The robbers must have hopped on the bicycles just here and ridden off up the road. Hmm, I'll get my car and follow them. <laughs> Take you much further, little car. I'll have to follow the tracks on foot. This is silly. Bicycles can't suddenly disappear into the air. Oh, but they can. But where are the robbers? What's that? And it's coming from this tree. Fly and Gobbo, those bad goblins. No wonder they sleep all day if they go round robbing people all night. I must stop the goblins escaping from that tree until Big Ears can help me arrest them. I know, that holly bush. What's going on? Ow! What's all this holly doing, ya? Help! Help! Nobody's going to help you two bad robbers. Noddy, is that you? Ow! Oh, let us out. Why didn't the holly hurt you, Noddy? Because I'm made of wood, silly. <laughs> well done, Noddy. Now I can rest happily knowing those goblins are in prison. We're so proud of you. Yeah, you really ought to have a reward, Mr. Plod. I agree. Noddy, what would you like? Well, I suppose I should like someone to paint my house for me. I'm not very good at painting. Well, uh, Mr. Tubby Bear loves painting. And we shall pay him to paint Noddy's house. Oh, thank you, Mr. Plod. But I should most like to carry on helping Big Ears until you're better. <laughs> I couldn't do without you, Noddy. And what I should even more most like is to wear a proper police helmet. Well, my spare helmet's on that chair. Try it on. Oh, I shall look so important. Do hurry up and get better, Mr. Plod. I shouldn't like Noddy to be in any more danger. I'm sorry, Mr. Plod. This helmet is a bit big. <laughs> Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all. Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. He's tired and sleepy and nodding his head. He's ready to curl himself up in bed and see what tomorrow brings. For oh, Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. Thank <laughs> you.
Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. Noddy. It was an important day in Toyland. Noddy's best friend, Big Ears, was coming to dinner, and Noddy was planning a special meal. What lovely dinner shall I make for Big Ears? Radish, parsnip. Radish, parsnip. Radish, parsnip, radish. I know. I'll make radish stew. Oh, who can that be? Noddy! Noddy! Have you heard the news? No, Mrs. Tubby Bear. I've heard nothing. I've been talking to myself about my vegetables. It's Big Ears. He was riding his bicycle to see you, and he cycled straight into Jumbo the toy elephant. Oh, dear! Big Ears fell off and hurt his head, and Jumbo sat down on the bicycle. It smashed the bees. That next. should make your head feel better. Oh, yeah. Coming Have along some water. at a hundred miles an hour, not ringing his bell. Oh, whatever next. <laughs> Here comes Noddy. Big ears. Are you all right? <sighs> I, I feel a bit funny. And my bicycle's ruined. You must come straight home with me. Come along. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I'll never be able to pick all these bits of bicycle off. <laughs> oh. What's that noise? <laughs> Wait, Jumbo. Wait. You've got the bicycle bell on your tail. Stop. Stop. Let me take it off. Oh, well, at least uh, I've still got my bell. Now, Big Ears, the doctor said... You must not oh. worry. Uh, yes, I, I, I know he did. Not so loud, please. What I'm worried about is the rest of my bicycle. It's ruined, and I've no money saved up, so I can't buy a new one. I've no money either, but... You must not worry. Oh, please, Noddy. Shush. Well, well, I'm sorry. I'll try not to worry. You have a sleep, and I'll think of a good idea to make some money to buy you a new bicycle. <laughs> Thank you, Noddy. I, I should like a little sleep. I'll tiptoe away and leave you very quiet. But... You must not worry. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, oh, dear. Oh, I know. Oh, no, that's no good. Perhaps I could... Oh, no, I, I couldn't do that either. Um... So hard to think of a good idea. Oh, Noddy. Oh, I'm glad I found you at home. I've been given a message for you from Mr. Straw the farmer. He wants you to drive to the farm gate in your car and collect all his sacks of potatoes from there and take them to Goblin Corner. I'll do that right away. But what do I do with the sacks when I get there? Or oh, just leave them for his brother to collect. And next week, Mr. Straw will pay you seven sixpences. There you are, Noddy. <laughs> You'll be rich. And I'll be able to buy a bicycle. Big Ears will be thrilled. Noddy, that's so kind. You carried all those sacks about just to buy me a bicycle. I hoped you'd be pleased. <laughs> I'm delighted. Oh, who's that noisy person? Come in. I am in, Noddy. 
And I wants to know what you've been up to today. I, I, uh, I, I don't know. Tell me. Did you or did you not go to Mr. Straw's farm and steal six sacks of potatoes from his gateway? I didn't steal any sacks, Mr. Plod. One moment. Miss Pink Cat saw you driving your car with a load of sacks. Uh, uh, excuse me. Not now, Mrs. Tubby. <clears throat> what have you done with the sacks? Are they here? I've heard enough. Oh, oh dear. Oh. How dare you accuse Noddy of being a thief? Noddy was asked to collect the sacks. Mrs. Tubby Bear gave him the message. What? What's all this? I've been trying to tell you. I did give Noddy the message. A little goblin told me Mr. Straw wanted Noddy to move the sacks. A goblin? They're always playing tricks on me. There you are, Mr. Plod. Oh, oh dear. Oh, that's quite enough worry. The point is, Noddy took the sacks and he's to blame. Mr. Straw was going to sell those sacks, Noddy, so I'm afraid you must pay for them. I'll pay. I'll open up my money box. Please don't worry, Big Ears. I shall go to Goblin Corner. The thief may be coming tonight to collect the sacks. Then I shall catch him. Oh, uh, please be careful, Noddy. <sighs> Who played this horrid trick on me? Mercy! It was only a joke. Please don't take me to Mr. Plod. A joke? I could have gone to prison for your joke. I've had to give up every penny out of my money box for your nasty joke. And do stop trembling. You're making my teeth chatter. I'll make it up to you. I'll. I'll do a spell for you. I'm good at spells. Is there anything you want? Nothing. Come with me. Ow! Wait a minute, though. Big Ear's bicycle was smashed to bits. Have you a spell to make him another one? If I had one of the bits of the bicycle, I might be able to work a spell on that. There is something left. We've still got the bell. Bicycle Bell, I'll weave you a spell. Grow, grow, two wheels in a row. Make, make the pedals and brake, make a frame and a handlebar too. Bicycle Bell, I'll weave you a spell. Holiday, bring me too. My bicycle's all right again. <laughs> My bicycle. And I don't even have to put the bell back on. <laughs> now, now, where's that naughty goblin? He's gone. Oh, never mind. Everything's all right now. You see, I told you not to worry. <laughs> <laughs> naughty, naughty, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy. Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Big Ears and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure and he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. He's tired and sleepy and nodding his head. He's ready to curl himself up in bed and see what tomorrow brings. Naughty, 
Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Biggie's and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. It was a very lazy day in Toyland. The sun was so hot that Noddy and his car felt like doing nothing at all. Oh, I'm sorry, little car. We really must start work. We have to take lots of people to the station so they can catch the train for the seaside. Never mind. As we drive along, the breeze will cool us down. What's that noise? Is it me? Am I rattling? You're making a terrible rattling noise. I know, but I don't know why. I'm not made out of metal. It's not you, you silly wooden doll. It's your car. Of course. Thank you. I'll take it straight to Mr. Sparks's garage. Oh. oh, this is a problem, Noddy. Your back bumper's loose. Will you amend it for me, Mr. Sparks? Well, I'd like to, but I shall need my screwdrivers. And I'm afraid I've lost my box of tools. <laughs> I haven't seen it since yesterday when I come back from mending Mr. Straw's tractor. I am sorry, but I have to take a lot of passengers to the station. What shall I do about my bumper? Whoa. I'll tie it up with some rope until I can mend it properly. All aboard! All aboard! Thank you, Noddy. Please put all those things in this carriage. <laughs> I'll help you, Noddy. Thank you. <laughs> Ow! Oh. <laughs> Oh dear! Who turned my key? Oh dear! Oh, <laughs> Martha, can't you leave anything alone? Oh dear! I've never left like this before. Ooh. Yeah, ooh. it must be my special new key. What special new key? Well, I lost my old one. And I bought this one from the goblins. Well, I think you should leave that key behind. Give it to me, Clockwork Mouse. I'll look after it for you. It'll be safe with me, Clockwork Mouse. Bye-bye, I should have liked to have gone to the seaside. But I suppose I must stay behind. <sighs> Still, I can always ask Big Ears if he'd like to go on a picnic. Big Ears, come on. Uh, Nearly there. Uh, be careful. This isn't very safe. I've got it. Uh, oh, no, I oh. haven't got it. No. Oh, dear. Oh, Big Ears, uh. are you all right? Uh, uh, oh. No, Noddy. I'm not all right. I banged my head on something rather hard. Oh, good gracious. What is it? it it's a box. Let me look. Ah, there are pieces of metal in there. What can they be? Oh, dear. It's locked. I've got a key. It's Clockwork Mouse's key. I wonder if it might fit. <laughs> I very much doubt it, Noddy. <laughs> you see, keys only fit the locks they were specially made to fit. And... Oh, my word! You see, it does fit. Clockwork Mouse said it was a special key. Screwdrivers and spanners and hammers. Aha! That, Noddy, is a toolbox. It must be Mr. Sparks' toolbox. He lost it. 
He must have fallen out of his car. We'll have to take it straight back to him. Oh, yes, he'll be thrilled. But what about our picnic? We shall have to have that later. <coughs> Don't worry. Mr Sparks won't hurt you. There you are, Noddy. All done. And because you found my tools for me, there's nothing to pay. Thank you, Mr Sparks. <laughs> That's very kind of you. I think I'll just see if Clockwork Mouse's key will start my car. <coughs> oh, my word! <coughs> Stop! <coughs> Stop! What a day! But what's that terrible noise? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> We're slowing down. Be careful. Oh, oh, oh. This key did start my car, but I shan't use it ever again. <laughs> I don't think Clockwork Mouse should use it ever again either. Big ears, look! It's Clockwork Mouse's old key. So it is. How did it get there? Oh, those goblins. They must have stolen it from Clockwork Mouse so they could play a trick on him with their special goblin key. I'll look after it until we can get back to town and give it to Mr. Plot. Quite right, Big Ears. I'll drive very slowly and carefully with my own key. <laughs> oh, no! My poor car's rattling again. But this time it's the front bumper. Never mind. I'm sure Mr. Sparks will mend it. Hello, everybody. Hello. Have you had a good pie? Yes, oh, right. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's so wonderful. <laughs> the only trouble is we've had nothing to eat. I'm afraid Master Tubby buried all our food on the beach. <laughs> yes, our sandwiches really were full of sand. <laughs> You can come to my house. Big Ears and I were going to have a picnic, but we've had so many adventures, we haven't eaten it yet. We can all share it. My word, that's very decent of you. Here, Noddy, uh, have you got my special key? No, I haven't, Clockwork Mouse. It was far too special a key, so Mr Plod has locked it away. Yeah, but I shan't be able to do my amazing leaps. In this weather, I think that's just as well. And I've got your old key back. It wasn't lost. It was stolen. <gasps> no, stolen. stolen by the goblins. They tricked you into buying a very dangerous key. But now Mr. Plod is dealing with those rascals. Oh, thanks, Noddy. I suppose I shall at least be able to skip about like I used to. <laughs> Where is my old key? It's here, under all these things. Oh, goody. Can I have it back, please? Ow! I never want to look after another key ever again. Uh, will someone wind me up? I will! I will! <laughs> look at me! I can do hop, skip, and jump! <laughs> Come along, Noddy. Let's all go home into the shade and have a nice picnic. You deserve it. <laughs> Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Big Ears and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure and he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. He's tired and sleepy and nodding his head. He's ready to curl himself up in bed and see what tomorrow brings. For Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. Noddy, Noddy, the little 
man with a red and yellow car Noddy His tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends It's sixpence an adventure then he'll take you home again Noddy It was a hectic morning in Toyland. It was Big Ear's birthday, and Noddy was baking him a cake. I've put in butter, eggs, flour. What else does it say in my recipe book? Oh, yes, sugar. Oh, I hope that's not too much. Milko. Come in, Mr. Milko. My recipe says I need a pint of milk for Big Ear's birthday cake. Here you are, then, Noddy. One pint of milk. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's not mixing very well. You yeah, will, um, I think you should pour the milk out of the bottle first. Oh, yes, of course. I'd never baked a cake before, and I've got so much to do. I've got to buy a present for Big Ears, a brand new cocoa mug with toadstools on it. But I still haven't earned the money for it. Oh. At last. I've been waiting nearly a minute. Noddy, halt. I've got a job for you. I want you to take this parcel to the station. And while you're there, I want you to collect the box which is waiting for me. It contains my beautiful brand new tea set. But this parcel's got no string. It'll fall to pieces. I've got no time to deal with string. I'm preparing a tea party for some rather important toys. You must buy the string and tie the parcel up. When you bring my new tea set, I shall pay you two sixpences. Two sixpences? Oh, that's enough to buy a cocoa mug. I don't want a cocoa mug. I'm having a beautiful new tea set. These cocoa mugs with toadstools on are very popular, Mr. Sparks. That's the last one on the stall. Oh, I'm lucky then. <laughs> Thank you, Dinah. Dinah? I've got to send this parcel off, and then I'll have enough money to buy a cocoa mug with toadstools on for Big Ear's birthday. Now, calm down, Noddy. I'm afraid I've just sold the last cocoa mug with toadstools on. No, you can't have done. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop it, Noddy. You'll ruin that parcel. I'll soon have some more of those cocoa mugs with toadstools on. There's a box of them arriving for me at the station on the next train. I've got to take this parcel to the station. I can fetch them for you. Now, that is a good idea. But first, I have to buy some string to tie up the parcel. I'll give you some string. I've got some in this box. Oh, no. All my string's gone. This box was full this morning. Minding my own wobbles when I wobbled into something and it made me wobble all over the place. It's the string. Come on, Noddy. have you got my string tied to your leg? Well, I was supposed to meet Bert Monkey at your stall, but I wanted an ice cream. So, I borrowed the string and tied it to your stall so I'd be able to find my way back in case the market square got crowded. <laughs> Wasn't that clever? No, it was not clever. Ow! What's happening? <laughs> oh, Mr. Driver, I have to send this parcel to Cat Town. Well, Put it in the carriage, Noddy. I'm glad you're still here. We got caught in a thunderstorm, so I'm uh, having to dry the engine before we can leave. I've got to collect two cartons as well. There they are, on the platform. Oh, thank you. I'm afraid the rain made the writing run, so uh, the names are all smudged. Oh, no. Which box has the cocoa mugs and which has the tea set? Mugs are bigger than teacups, you know. Oh, yes. They must be in the bigger box. So I'll take Miss Pink Cat the smaller box. 
You are very late, Noddy. Give me my tea set. You can come for your money later. But I need the money to buy a cocoa mug with toadstools on. I'm too busy to look for it now. I have to lay the tea table for some very important toys. But... <laughs> oh, now what shall I do? Noddy? You can give me the money for Big Ears Mug when Miss Pink Cat pays you. Oh, Dinah, you are kind. I'll soon unpack one for you. <gasps> I just remembered. What? Big Ears Cake. I left it in the oven. Oh, I must go and get it out. Oh, but I need the mug. You look after that cake. I'll wrap the mug in birthday paper and bring it round later. Oh, Dinah, thank you. Thank you. Good gracious. This isn't a box of cocoa mugs with toadstools on. This is a beautiful tea set. Oh, I do hope that cake will be all right. It smells very... Oh, it smells very smelly. Aha! Uh -huh. Noddy, there you are. Mr Plod, what do you want? I'm busy. Miss Pink Cat has complained that you've taken her beautiful new tea set. But I haven't. I, I wouldn't. I gave her the tea set. That's not what she says. You must come with me and sort this matter out. All right, I will. How dare she say I've taken her tea set? She's so horrid. That's as maybe. She didn't even pay me. <coughs> that is a very beautiful tea set. You really must sell it to me. I don't think I can. Nonsense. I insist. I have some extremely important toys coming to tea. But it's not mine to sell. Noddy delivered it to me by mistake. He is always doing things like that. He brought me a box of horrible cocoa mugs with toadstools on. Oh, so that's what happened. <gasps> Miss Pink Cat. Noddy, where's my tea set? I gave it to you. You gave me some horrible mugs. I didn't. Oh, you did? Silence! Oh, do be quiet, Mr. Plod. What? I know what happened. Noddy delivered two boxes, one to me and one to Miss Pink Cat. But our names had been washed off, so he delivered them the wrong way round. Did I? All we have to do is swap the boxes round and everybody will be happy. Well, do hurry up then. I have some hugely important, important toys coming to tea. How did you know? This is all very well, but what am I to write in my notebook? You could write, Happy Birthday, Big Ears. <laughs> Happy Birthday, Big Ears. <laughs> Thank you, Noddy. How did you know a cocoa mug with toadstools on it was just what I wanted? And how did everybody else know that was just what I wanted? <laughs> Thank you all. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> but, Noddy, there's a rather strange smell in here. So there is. No! The birthday cake! Oh, dear! I'm sorry, Big Ears. Never mind. It was a kind thought. Oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday Big, Big Ears. Ears. Oh, oh that's oh, wonderful, oh, Mrs. Toddy. We brought you a present, Big Ears. I, I think you like it. A cocoa mug with toadstools on it. Just what I wanted. Thank you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Big Ears. Big Ears. <laughs> Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in the toy land. There's Big Ears and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. Tired and sleepy and nodding his head He's ready to curl himself up in bed And see what tomorrow 